Okay, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must be really weird, like, for the game rooms, because it was just, like, saying, like, uh, next time we're going to we're back just immediately like that. I think they probably take breaks in between. Us, yeah. us on the other hand, you know, yeah, fuck, fuck it, it, whatever. This is the first time we're actually timing our episodes, so fuck it. Anyway, so, Incubi. Let's do it. Incubi? The fabled demons that existed to haunt humans and make them sex-crazed monsters? Not exactly, but okay. The mythical beings that could look like anyone just to get into your pants? The imaginary monsters you only saw in movies or on or on TV? Oh yeah, Incubi are in so many movies. Yeah, no, I never see them anywhere. Hello, did you hear him? Uh, it's that guy. We're telling the truth. Do you think she's still processing it? Uh, fucking Christ. Yes, and she'll understand right about... Right. It was funny while it lasted, but it's time to cut the joke short. Incubuses don't exist. Incubuses. Isn't it Incubi? It is. Wasn't she already just saying the word Incubi? There was no way they existed. she might be trying to piss them off. Yeah, that would be practically impossible. Which 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 one? Uh, I want to like think of a good thing. Incubi. Incubi is the correct form, and yes, we do exist. <laughs> they never say, beat me up, Scotty. Prove it. Okay, yeah, no, it's just, oh my god. He's nuts. Oh my god. As soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regretted them. Oh, good. Stuff. Which one's oh, Eric? Which no. one's Eric? Very well. Eric, go ahead. No! <laughs> Very well. No! Kill him! Oh, Kill him right oh, now! My sweet. No! Oh, no! No! This is making me so uncomfortable. And it's not just because of the voice. Oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna fuck- I'm gonna punch you in the tooth again, you piece of shit! <laughs> I like that I hit the nail right on the head of this. What? Once again, I was mm. lost in a pool of calm and serenity, staring into Eric's eyes. I felt the waves of heat course through my chest and onto my face, despite the fact that his voice was a total turn-off and imagine, actually made me want to punch him in the fucking mouth. Can you imagine being, like, super attracted to a dude and then he has, like, the dumbest voice you've ever heard? You mean Nick? Oh! No. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Nick. Oh. Brutal. <laughs> Painting my cheeks red in their wig, I couldn't help but nod and agree to his offer. Yeah, okay. Oh. No, stop! <laughs> stop! I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again in my chest. Damn, this chicken is just getting all the dick tonight. And my mind was sent spitting in a heated passion filled pleasure, yet I could feel my body drain of energy as he kissed me. Which, okay, which. Uh, uh, all right. I'll assume it's your guy. Alright, that's enough. Oh, no, uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kill me. As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. I felt weak in the knees, despite my will demanding me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Okay. Or orgasm. <laughs> I was gonna... Which boy is this? I... This, it's, is, it's... this is, uh, this guy. Right here, the main guy. The Probably. one who's clearly the leader. Yeah, Harry Potter over here. Uh, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers, Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. Damien? Is that- this guy's Damien? Fucking the one guy with the weird name, and he's like the non, like, demon-looking one. Uh, I kinda- I could- I could go for- I could you go, wanna go on with I could, Damien, right? I could be a, a Sarai sandwich if between we, Damien and Harry Potter over here. If we can't, like, go back to Susie, I wanna go after Damien. Okay. Yeah, no, Joey got a Dana. Joey got a spoiler, and we might be able to date Suzu. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Miss, are you okay? Oh, shit. Oh, that's you. Is it? Oh, yeah. Sam, yeah. Shit, she fainted. <laughs> oh, wait. I know what voice I want to do for Sam now. Oh, okay. God. I'm going to make that I'm gonna make that happen if I can. Incubi, fucking things. The family business. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Incubi, real. It all spun around in my head until I saw only black. Only black men. 
<laughs> Floating in the darkness, my mind kept re replaying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the incubi's lips against mine. That's what the incubi sounds like. Like a, sounds like a, a shitty movie that an erotic like, novel. Your dad's band would, would be in. <laughs> Like Call Girl of Cthulhu. Call Girl of Cthulhu. Yeah, my my dad's band is in Call Girl of Cthulhu. Coming out this September. Yeah, I mean September 2015. If any of y'all want to fucking check it out, Call I haven't Cthulhu. seen it. The catatonics. <laughs> Sorry, the catatonics. You said the. No, it's in the. Oh, well, okay, whatever. However, I began to feel the smooth. I think the smooth, the smooth silk around me. My eyelids unwillingly opened. Mm, oh, blanket. Where? I awoke to- That is a nice looking room! Holy shit, it's got a little fucking oh. fireplace? What the fuck? Is this a Fantastic! It's got a bed! I awoke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where was mom? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh, oh wait. Oh my god, this is like Diabolic Lovers, isn't it? Oh shit! Oh wait, I lived at my grandfather's house now. Of course I would be it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I would not be comfortable living in a big old house by myself, especially like I mean like even if I didn't know about the Incubi guys originally, like even with the Incubi guys, I mean they're cute, but like, you know, I'm I'm not one just like you know, you know, fucking 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 duck, you know? Like I I wouldn't wouldn't be into it. And, like, living with them the morning after would be so awkward. And, like, you would be tired and they'd be all, like, chipper and shit and it would be a constant reminder. Uh, it would be Don't just mention weird. the fact that, like, Nancy Mai's job is to, like, put a demon in your womb. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. Like, the, the point of them is to, is to make demons. Holy hell. Like, a succubi takes, I feel like takes they... a demon from, from men to create demons in themselves, while incubi create demons in women. I feel like they probably took that out of this game. Probably. <laughs> uh, I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I was still in the clothes that I arrived in the ha at the house in, but I was laying in a silk-covered bed. I remembered coming in the afternoon. I bet yeah, you did. Yeah. So why was it nighttime already? Suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I should order some food for delivery. I wasn't feeling pretty hungry. I, I was feeling pretty hungry. Sorry. It I was not. <laughs> I was about to sit up, but I suddenly realized that I wasn't alone. You're awake. <laughs> huh? Ah! Since when was he standing there? And who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom? D did we? Yes, you did. There's no way! Um. <laughs> uh, sorry, I think I was saying my thoughts out loud. Why was I apologizing? To a stranger who only said two words as I woke up? Wait, he looked eerily familiar. Maybe he said coming... three words. Yeah. <laughs> then it all came back to me. Incubus. He was an incubus. He, he was, was that. He was that one band that I haven't actually listened to, but I hear good <laughs> things about them. He and his brothers came here for refuge, and two of them kissed me, and then I fainted, I and that it, was how things came to this. I hope at some point in the game, like one of the one of the uh, guys, like finds a dude, and she's like, "What?" But I thought incubi only like only went after only went after girls, and then he's like, "Didn't I tell you? I'm incubi sexual." Oh my god! I hope it's Eric that says that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how things came to this. Oh! Um. He was leaning against the far wall, looking at me. My heart began to race as I thought of him, like standing against like the door, like the all like cool guy, like like one leg up. And then just a nasally dirt nerd voice <laughs> coming out of his fucking mouth. Not nerd. <laughs> My heart, began to, my heart began to race as I thought of the endless list of possibilities this situation brought me. Mm. I hated the thought of being under an incubus's power, especially in the bedroom. Be calm. Jump up and protect yourself. Uh, uh, that's not, like, protecting ourselves might mean, like, punching this dude, let's, and if let's we're gonna... Be calm, because, like, yeah. we want to go after this guy. Yeah. I took a deep breath. I was sure that if any of them wanted to take advantage of me, they would have already. And probably did. Yeah, I'm awake you now. You can you can obviously tell um, that I'm awake, but I, I am awake. Uh, my eyes are open. I am understanding what's going on, unless this is is a dream, in which case, sorry. Uh, That's good. <laughs> I saw a small form of a smile on his face, which made me blush a bit. Why, though? Because you fucking are in love with him already. One thing still concerned me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. <laughs> huh? How? I can read minds. All right. It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability outside of our usual mind-altered powers. I am so tired of that voice already. 
Great. Even more surprises. I grew even more worried about the situation I was in. I see. How long have I been asleep? For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. Why is that funny? Uh, well, where are the others? Well, after they were done having their way with Shut you. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> My brothers are downstairs, cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor, <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. I am uncomfortable with the laughs that you're giving this guy. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to be molested by fucking Goofy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't. <laughs> do not, you, do not fucking dare lean into the microphone like that. I will punch you. Again. Oh, okay. That's unexpectedly sweet. Oh, it's the least we can do after invading your home, but two of us using our powers on you. You've got a point. Right, I had forgotten about that. It still irked me that they had practically taken advantage of me at that point. Even if they were demons. It was pretty rude to demonstrate their powers by kissing me. I wasn't some kind of human plaything. But you are now. Yeah. All of this seemed pretty unreal. It was like something out of those romance novels that Naomi sometimes read. I wish I could just, I could have just went back to sleep and forgotten about all of this. I mean, you can. <laughs> By the way, I could, I could read your, your inner monologue, too. <laughs> it's, good. it's like that girl in, uh, in Actually I Am. He's just like, I can erase all of your memories. He just pulls out a hammer. <laughs> It's, it's fine. It's, it's, this works for humans, right? I've read it in manga. Maybe I should have just called the police on them. Then I would never have landed myself in this situation. Do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! Oh! oh. Wow! Oh! Why, oh, John? Oh, it's stay night. Why, John? <laughs> oh, Trust my goodness. Me, I won't let you go. Oh, that's Please creepy. Please go back to full. To- Full 100% profile. <laughs> or, not profile. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure about this. The art suddenly changed and you're not as I, handsome anymore. I promise. Well, no one's asking if you promise. Uh, okay, I no, trust no, you. really upsetting about this? What? He looks even more like me. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, you got a similar jaw, actually. Oh I see God. it. Except his he eyes are purple. like an attractive version of me to an accurate version of me. <laughs> oh no! Good. <laughs> Do you want to keep doing that voice? The closer and closer he gets to you. <laughs> I was speechless. He was carrying me as if I weighed nothing. He was so strong. I've been there, girl. Thank you. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot. It's all right. I'm used to it. I decided to close my mouth for the time being so that I wouldn't weird him out or make things more awkward than they already were. Was that even the voice I started with for him? Uh, it's similar it's like, enough. I was going for nerd at first, and now it's more Barney. <laughs> Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me or listening to me talk, so at least things weren't too strange. Damien seemed very quiet and calm about everything, especially with the situation we were in. However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in admiration. Is he the nice guy of the group? Uh, oh boy. Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I felt well enough to walk on my own. Oh man, are we just friend zone, Damien? Oh no! As strong as he was, it was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want to make him carry me everywhere. In fact, he's too Oops. nice. We're probably going to accidentally friend zone him, and then he's going to, like, horribly rape you. Yeah, no, Yandere. Yeah, that yeah, would be mortifying. Probably, he's probably, he seems like the Yandere. Uh, Look thank- at him. Back to being attractive. Yeah. Thanks for carrying me. I think I can walk by myself now. Oh, not saying that I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it. Not in a weird way, of course. I it's not to like... to be honest with him, because he can fucking read your fucking mind. Yeah. It's not like I get carried around all the time. What, what I'm trying to say is that it was really nice of you to do that. I started to fumble over my words again, real smooth. Been That's there, enough. girl. It's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room, then. Oh, God. I'm trying to go back you're, to you're, I, I, I like it better when you don't open your mouth. Just, just keep your, just be quiet. All right, see you. I know what you, you think about my voice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's dying. No. <laughs> he... <laughs> He he gently lowered me to the ground before he walked off quietly, disappearing into the shadows of the dark lobby. Oh, thank God I brought you. Here, give me the water, actually. I'm gonna need it. What the fuck? You put it down on my fucking Stevani, Jim. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, hi! I don't know what his voice is anymore. He was, like, really... Fuck, I don't remember. Right? Suddenly, a boy who looked around my age, or possibly younger, bounced up to me. I hope he's not younger than you. He looked vaguely familiar. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, he was one of those dudes who was probably raping me in my sleep. Uh, you're Matthew, right? 
Mm-hmm. That's me. Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. This is uh, definitely not the voice we were getting in before. Yeah, I, I fucking don't, e- don't even know anymore. Uh, I'm fine. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? Actually, I just remember someone someone commented on one of our videos that like the, that they thought the voice acting was cool. I hope we don't disappoint you because fucking... Yeah, because we're fucking it up. We're right down and back. <laughs> we appreciate your, your compliments, though. Thank you very much. <clears throat> no, I'm fine. I'm sure of it. I must have been blushing when Damien was carrying me downstairs. How embarrassing. Well, if you say so, I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. I certainly feel like vomiting. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a good place to end this episode, <laughs> then. Uh, alright. Joey's gonna go barf, and then we'll get back to this, probably, if he's not dead. Yep. Alright. <laughs>